All right, I'm going to do a quick video today about um, forming cases for the 9x25 Dillon. I've got a uh, conversion barrel here from Lone Wolf. Probably put 300 rounds through it so far. F pretty fun to shoot. Um, Dillon recommends using new um, virgin 10 millimeter brass to form. Um, I had a couple hundred pieces that I formed up and ran out, so I'm actually using once fired 10 millimeter brass. <clears throat> they say, yeah, better luck with starting off with the new stuff, but I'll give it a shot. If I get a couple firings out of it, um, that's fine by me. They say that, uh, well, as with any, anytime you're working with a bottleneck cartridge, setting up your resizing die and well, or form die, probably the same die is, uh, is very important and uh, I'm gonna go over how I set it up um, starting off it's it's kind of trial and error I uh, I set my sizing die to not quite touch the shell holder stays off it maybe 20 thousandths or so I use feeler gauges to set the height um, and then I just put a put a piece of brass in there and resize it and then what I do is I take the barrel, come over to my height gauge. What I do is I set the barrel on there. You can you can put it in a V block if you're really concerned, but it actually for what for what we're doing here, this is this is good enough. And I come over and just bring the height gauge down on right on the barrel hood there. And then what I'll do is I set my zero. So yeah, we're we're pretty close there. Zero it out. Whoops. That's no good. Try that again without knocking it over. I'm trying to do it one-handed. Alright, so we bring it down. We want to get that measurement. Okay, we're zeroed out. Good enough. Okay, let me show you, for example, I've got a couple cases that have been already been fired and not resized. So we're going to drop one in there, push it down until it seats on the shoulder, and we're going to bring the height gauge over, bring it down, and you can see where it's sticking above the barrel hood about five thousandths. Okay, ideally what you want when you resize these is to be about two thousandths under the barrel hood. So, the trick is to set up your die to bump that shoulder back two th so it sits two thousandths below that. So, here's a couple cases that I've already done. I've already got the sizing die set up. We'll drop one in. Height gauge over, bring it down to just contact it, and we're just under two thousandths, yeah, about two thousandths under there, thou and a half or so. So ideally, that's perfect. That's what you want. That's going to give you good reliability and very minimal uh, case stretching or movement during firing. So basically it's setting up the die is is just trial and error. I got it set here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to we'll back it out just a little bit. Put a little lube on a case. Stick it in. I like to hold it for a second. Bring it out, kind of wipe it off. It's important to make sure the barrel's clean too when you're doing this. You don't want a bunch of gunk in there because it won't give you an accurate reading. So we'll drop it in. We'll check our barrel hood height, make sure we're still zeroed out here. Yep, zeroed out. Let's move over to the case. Now it should be sticking 
above because I backed that die out. As you can see, right there we're about 11 thousandths above. So what you can do is you can just take it out and incrementally screw in this die. Put a little more lube on it. We'll just incrementally screw it in, test it, and, and repeat the process. So I know that I've got it set up here. So screw it back in. We'll run it back up in there. Bring it down. And we're about three thousandths, so that's fine. I've been finding that when I just size them in one go at it, it's right at about two thousandths or a little bit under. But if I got to stick it back in there, it actually pushes it back maybe a thou more. So, um, that's pretty much all there is to it, you know. Um, you'll find that, uh, well, I, I reload on a couple Dillon 550s and when I set this die up in there, when I'm resizing the brass that's already been fired through the barrel, I have to, you know, it has to be adjusted accordingly. So, because once fired brass isn't going to resize the same as your 10 mil, you know, when you initially size your 10 millimeter brass down. So, take that into account. Um, but yeah, pretty easy. Got any questions? Let me know. Thank you.